and the disappearance of Jocelyn Smith has gripped the country. The six-year-old went missing from a home in Saldana Bay on the 19th of February. Search teams are continuing their hunt for her, with authorities saying they are hopeful. Four people, including her mother, Kelly, appeared in court this week facing charges of kidnapping and trafficking. We chat now to Tersha de Clare, community manager of the National Freedom Network and the founder and MD of the Joseph Movement, which works to reduce and expose and also prevent human trafficking and sexual exploitation. She joins us virtually. Good evening to you, Tersha. Thank you very much for joining us here on Newsnight. The case of Jocelyn Smith has once again reminded us just how bad uh, the issue of uh, human trafficking missing persons uh, is in our country. Let's just chat briefly about the stats and actually how bad the situation is here in South Africa. Yes, thank you so much for having me. So what we've seen is with regards to kidnapping specifically, we've actually seen an increase of 183% between 2021 and 2022. And also when we look at our reliable sources, which is our national human trafficking hotline of South Africa, they actually say that at any given time, there is approximately 160,000 people at any given time trapped within a human trafficking situation in South Africa. And globally, we also see that South Africa stands at number seven with regards to annual kidnapping cases specifically. Mm. That is so absolutely terrifying. 